Hello and welcome. The title of the message today is, Where Do I Live? But let's begin by affirming together our opening statement. There is only one presence and one power in my life and the universe, God. So please with me, I invite you just to take a deep breath and release that breath and relax your body, allowing your mind to become a little more still a little more open to divine wisdom, divine understanding. It is there waiting on you to call upon it. And now, bringing our awareness to this present moment, we give thanks. Thank you. And so it is. So where do I live? I think you already know I'm not talking about my physical address, my mailing address. I'm not talking about the place on this three-dimensional planet where my body is currently standing. Last week, we talked about a model that models time, and then another dimension. So on this model, moving from left to right, we have time. And, I'll, and my fist then would represent three-dimensional space moving in that timeline throughout a lifetime. And at each moment, there is this three-dimensional world around us that you can think of as the height, the, the length, and the breadth. So we have these three dimensions, and then all three of those dimensions are represented here in my fist. As my fist moves through time, you see we have this movement in a different direction than up, down, left, right, or front, or back. And that time, that dimension is the passage of time as seen from our human perspective. Now at any moment in time, so we're, we're just gonna take time now as, as one line, and that at any given moment in time, there is another line that crosses it vertically. Now this is in a direction that's different than up, down, left, right, front, or back. This is a totally different direction. Just like time was a different direction from those other three, now we're bringing in a fifth one, and we'll, we'll call this our vibration, our level of vibration. We might think of it as a state of consciousness. So we talked about this briefly last week. When we're vibrating at the place of anger, stress, fear, then we're vibrating at, 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 at the lower level in this direction. And then we can raise that vibration by relaxing our body and allowing a different feeling into our consciousness, one of perhaps joy, peace, compassion. So there is this spectrum in a, on a different direction than time that vibrates from our lowest animal consciousness, which would include fears and angers, all the way up to the highest level in us where we are in joy, compassion, peace. And at any moment in time, this level of time crosses that line of our consciousness at different places. So it could be animal consciousness versus Christ consciousness. So you can see that at any moment in time, the timeline is crossing this vertical line. You might call it spirit line in a different place. So where do we live? 
at any moment in time, I can wake up and observe where is my consciousness on this vertical scale. At any moment in time, where on this vertical scale is my consciousness? And so we can ask ourselves, where do I live right now in this moment? Now, last time I also read to you from the Gospel of Matthew, a verse where I said the rubber meets the road. And it was in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 18 and verse 18. And I'm reading from the Lamsa translation. I'd like to read this one more time and, and speak to it. Truly I say to you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you release on earth will be released in heaven. Now, I would like to speak about this in a slightly different way than I did last week. Whatever you bind on earth, that is what you're holding in your body. Whether you are relaxed or bound. So whatever you bind on earth, whatever constrictions that you're feeling in your body right now, will be reflected in your consciousness. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. This is a representation of where do I live? Where am I living right now? Where do I live in this moment? We can look at our body and see what we have bound. Are we in a place of constriction or are we open? Whatever we loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. So our body is a tool for our Awakening, it's a tool for us to use to know where we're living right now on this spectrum of spirit. That now becomes something that we can put to use in our life. Until we can develop within us this observer then we are stuck in a random position in this spirit direction, in this level of vibration. But when we can then awaken so that we can observe what's in our consciousness at a given moment, now we have a means of making a shift in this level of vibration. But the first step is always an observation. And we might spend years only observing where our consciousness is without ever being able to make these changes. But there are opportunities and there are spiritual tools that can aid us once we become aware once we have this observer, and this observer can see where do I live right now, now we can change where we live. This is a huge step. It's not always easy because we're not taught this in an intellectual way through our education. But life does teach this because it is this technique of observ observing ourself that allows us to develop things like character or integrity. Our character is what it is until we can develop observer, and then we can begin to make changes in that character towards developing to a place of integrity. So 
So, where do I live right now? Where do I live right now? That is the exercise to bring forward into the week. And I would like to share with you now a joke. There are three types of people. Those who learn by reading. Those who learn by observation and all of the others who must put their hand in the fire to know that it's hot. All right. So maybe that was funny, maybe not. I've got one more joke, one more try at humor. There was a practicing teaching medical doctor, and he was standing there at medical school in front of the students. And he brings out a vial of yellow liquid. And he says, as doctors, we must be observant. We must be able to look at a specimen, look at the color, the scent, the odor of it, the temperature of it, and all of these different ways of observing. The students are thinking, that looks like a vial of urine. And then the teacher opens the vial, puts a finger in, and then puts a finger in his mouth. The students are aghast, some in disbelief, some just disgusted. And then he closes the vial and begins to hand it to a student, pass it around, and do like I did, he says, instructs his students, and observe. And so, with much disgust, with much reluctance, each of the students dips their finger in and then puts their finger in their mouth. After the entire class has done this exercise, the instructor gets the vial back and says, Now, I don't know how many of you observed, but I dipped my second finger in and I put my third finger in my mouth. Both of these jokes demonstrate an observation and this observation in both of these cases is an observation in three-dimensional world, in the world that is external to us. This observer that I'm talking about developing within us today is observing in our inner space. An ob observation meant to determine as each <clears throat> let me say that differently, in each moment of time, where are we living in terms of our vibration level, our vibrational level in the direction of spirit, in the realm of spirit, in what is translated in the Gospels as the kingdom of God, the realm of God, the place in our consciousness where we may experience the presence of the divine. Now, when we are vibrating down at the very bottom of this line, when we are in animal consciousness, our experience of the divine is, for all practical purposes, nothing. However, when we observe that we are at that level, we can take action. And that action might be as simple as taking a deep breath. We can begin to raise that vibration level to the point where we are near the top 
of that spiritual direction where we can experience the presence of God, the realm of God, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven. And remember the, the verse, we can look at our body. By observing our body, we can get a gauge of where our place is on that line. What we bind on earth, what we bind in our body, will be bound in the spiritual realm. And what we loose, when we can get to that state of relaxed contentment, when we have raised our level of spirit to a higher vibration of consciousness, And so I invite you, as you go through your week, to be observant, to be aware of your body. And notice how your body becomes then a way of you realizing, noticing, observing what's going on in your inner space, in the realm of of your consciousness? Am I vibrating at the realm of the animal consciousness? Or am I raising that level into a more open state of vibrating at the divine consciousness place? I invite you to join me now as we close in prayer. Let us pray the prayer for protection. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is. And all is well. Thank you.